A title fight, Sean. What, what's the feeling like heading into this fight compared to previous fight weeks? Uh, to be honest, they've, they've all felt like title fights as far as the, the media goes and, and all the obligations that kind of come with when I fight. I kind of, it, it feels very similar. It feels like just another fight. Hey, Sean, Rob here. Um, Robert, what up, baby? <laughs> How are you, mate? I, I've got to say, and, and you said yourself, every fight for you has felt like a title fight. And that's, that's how I felt every time you stepped in there. Because just because of the person you are, like you run the show when you step into that octagon. You, you bring energy, you bring the crowd. So is this just another night in the office for you? Because you have the skill set, you have the draw. Yeah, tell me how you feel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The only thing different, obviously, is it's five rounds two extra rounds, 10 extra minutes. It's basically fighting twice in one night. So, you know, that is a big difference, but that's pretty much the only difference. Yeah, the fight week is going smooth. Uh, um, Everything is going, going smooth. Yeah, you've, you've been in there time and time again. And like, a, like we were just saying, you, you've, you've ran these big shows. Now, the common argument is just that Al Jermaine has wrestling. That, that, I'm sure you've heard it time and time again. But do you feel like your grappling is being underestimated? Because I've seen you grapple. I've seen you in the jiu-jitsu competitions, and I know how good your jiu-jitsu is. Do you, do you feel like you're being underestimated with your wrestling defense and especially your jiu-jitsu game? Yeah, I think, for, I think for sure I'm being a little bit underestimated, but I also understand how good Aljo is. For me, I'm going in there with the mindset of do not let this dude grab you. It's kill or be killed. I don't want him to grab me. I, I want my wrestling defense to hold up so I don't even have to. People ask me, do I want to go out there and prove that I can, you know, I'm good at jiu-jitsu. Like, no, not really. I want to go out there and prove that I can knock this dude out. I don't, I'm preparing for five fives and preparing for a grueling match, but I don't want this dude to get close enough to, to take me down. I don't want to get my back up against the fence. That's what my mindset is going into this fight. Mm. Sean, something that you've drawn attention to is Al Jermaine's weight cut. And Al Jermaine himself has said that he does struggle at times to get down to 135 pounds, even going so far as to say that this is his last fight at bantamweight, regardless of result. What does that tell you? And, and do you think that will affect him in this fight this weekend? And do you think it has affected him in previous bouts? I think Aljo likes talking about his weight because it's the only thing people really are interested about. And, you know, it's kind of like a jab at him, but it's also kind of like honest is my honest opinion like he gets attention from being this big huge bantamweight and i might move up after this fight so i think he does like the attention he gets from oh he cuts this much weight and he, this weight cuts tough it's like no shit they're all they're all tough they all suck um does he cut more weight probably but i feel like i've heard him say he's gonna go up for a while and he hasn't yet so i think he just kind of like the attention around that um you know he that's the only time he really gets a headline is when he says i'm moving up to featherweight people for some reason act like they care um, but yeah, I think that's probably most of it. Now, the attention is something that has been discussed a lot. And in fact, I spoke to Aljo last week and I asked him why he thought that there were so many sort of uh, barbs thrown, why this one did feel a little personal. Here's what he had to say about you, Sean. Anytime he talks, the first thing he actually talks about is uh, he's going to do this and no one's going to care. You know, I do this and people care. I mean, if that's what gets him up in the morning, I think he's in it for the wrong reasons. I mean, he might be insecure. Your thoughts on what the champion just said, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in it to make, make money, and uh, I'm making money. So, well, I mean, I, I pretty much proved in my last fight against Peter. You know, I brought the dog out. I didn't fold. It was a very tough, it was a very difficult fight against Peter Jan, who's one of the scariest dudes in the division, one of the best guys overall to fight. So, I mean, you can't say I'm in it for the wrong reason. I'm in it because I want to – I love fighting. I love performing. I love making money. It's not a secret that it, I, I'm in this, the fight business. That's why I'm making more money than all these guys. So, I, I don't know. I definitely – am I insecure? Not really. Uh, I, I don't feel like that. Uh, but that's his opinion. You definitely showed that you, you deserve to be here after that fight with Piotr Jan. Just a quick tip, Sean, how does this fight end this weekend? Uh, ideally, this fight ends this weekend with Aljo face first on the canvas. I would love to put his lights out. And, and I do bring up the weight cutting a lot of the times when I do make these predictions because I do think, well, I know, it, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I supposedly, you know, cutting that much much weight cutting as much weight as he does dehydrating yourself that much is not good for your brain fluids 
I am going to be 100% I'm confident that I will be faster than anybody he's fought and I will find his chin. So this fight's going to play out. It depends how many shots his chin can take. That, that's, how, that's how this fight's going to play out. And I don't think he's going to be able to take as many as he thinks he will be able to. Well, Sean, we can't wait to see you in action this weekend. Thank you so much for your time on Fox Sports and all the best. Yep. See you guys. Peace. Have a good one. There he was, the Sugar Show, an incredible character and also an incredible fighter. Your thoughts on his striking and, and the way that he's proven himself, not only against the guys he was fighting coming up, but also against Piotr Jan recently. You see, yeah, this is another guy. <laughs> I, I, I make it almost a habit of this. This is another guy that I underestimate or, or under, underappreciated until recently, like in, until his last few showings, because he's a guy that is... He's extremely confident in his ability to, to find the knockout, to find that chin. And he is so smooth in the way that he does things that he looks like he's not trying. But, you know, that can, I, he is trying. You can see that. I can see that now, I should say. I can see the, the, the method in which he, he sets up his strikes, the way he sets up his shots, the way that he carries himself which lends a, an aura of invincibility to his opponents. And honestly, I think, I think he's going to give Al Jermain some looks that Al Jermain hasn't had from other fighters. Well, I can't wait to see this fight. It's going to be an incredible card.